Like just look at where 80% of it is and don't worry necessarily about that last 20% because the goal of, of being healthy is adaptation. Adaptation is a sign that you're healthy. So if we can remove 80% of that stress, your body should be able to handle that last 20%. Now, I mean, people that have autoimmune conditions that are really sick and they have to be 100%. But I'm just speaking for everyone. Once you get the core stuff out and you get some of the supplements in, you get some of the binders in, usually you're going to have a little bit more flexibility to handle that last little bit. I'm trying to figure out here what is the size of microplastics measured in microns because – you know, most of the air filters that we use are going to filter 99.9% as small as 0.3. And some of our air filters that we discuss can go down to 0.1 microns. It looks like you have different sizes of microplastics. Obviously, you have you have large micro, small micro, and nanoplastics. The nano, man, they're tiny. They're smaller than one. That that's some that's some small. Let me let me just convert this, make sure it's right into microns i'm just trying to figure out how to like how much are we grabbing with the air purifier mm. okay so it looks like this is exciting so it looks like a nanoplastic could be considered around one micron or maybe a little bit less so to me based on this brief overview of the different size particles it looks like most air filters are going to grab a lot of these microplastics but yep. maybe not all of the nanoplastics Yep. And, and, and then also the ones... in the water, our RO is going to remove 90 to 99% of microplastics, depending on your system. So the, the more stages, probably the better, right? So